Hello y'all, welcome back to another favorites video. I'm trying to get better about doing these a little earlier in the month so they're actually like on the heels of the month that just finished. As I always say, favorites videos are some of my favorite videos to make for some of my favorite people. I love sharing with you guys new finds, new things that are making my life easier, better in some way. And I also love how much feedback I get from you guys after you've like tried something. Y'all will message me or comment on a later video and be like, I tried that thing or I got that sweater and I love it. I love that. This is what I do with my girlfriends is like share stuff that we both like. We learn about new things that we didn't know existed that uh, make things a little bit better, easier, etc. We're gonna start with the home category this month. I think it's like spring is in the air. I'm just feeling like, very inspired with home type items. But the first item that I wanna share with you guys is this candle warmer lamp. It's one of those items that again, I thought, I know it's pretty and it's gonna look nice sitting out. I had no idea how well it was actually going to work. I put this candle on it and this is um, the Mandarin, oh shoot, what's it called? I'll, I'll link it down below, it's from Target. It's just completely slipping my mind. Something Mandarin, I don't remember. Oh, is that it? Is it Clementine Mandarin? No, I don't know. This is not about the candle. This is about the, re or this is about the candle warmer. And within about an hour of it being turned on, my two teenage daughters came downstairs and they were like, what is that? What What is that? And I'm like, it's the candle warmer. It The smell just like permeates our entire downstairs. It almost like completely melts the entire candle at once. So there's a lot of benefits to this. It helps your candles to burn more evenly because it does just turn the, all the wax into liquid. I will light the candle, let it burn for a little bit, and then I'll just turn the lamp on. I don't even light the candle most of the time. I just turn the lamp on and let the wax warm up and permeate the whole house with its delicious scent. This thing is amazing. There is a few different designs of it on Amazon. I got a white one. I know they have a black one and you know, as these things sell out, there's often like another one that kind of comes in its place. It's very similar. I'll link it down below. This candle warmer, even my mom came by and visited and was like, what is that? So I've been sending the link to it to anyone that has basically come into my house in the last month and a half. That's how good it is. So candle warmer. Now, if you're saying to yourself or me, I guess, Angie, uh, I, I don't want to have candles. I don't want to have candle warmers. I, I like the wax melts. Okay, fine. I hear you. I too like the wax melts. I like it all. I have reed diffusers in the bathroom. I have a wax melt thing right here. One in the kitchen. I have the candle warmer. I like it all. Okay. We all know, well, maybe we don't all know, but you know, what I mean? I've talked about it enough that I assume you probably at least know of it, which is the Tyler company's laundry detergent. It's been kind of a popular item that people have talked about on YouTube for years. It can be very intense. I use a teeny little bit of it, uh, but it, it, it just makes, you know, bedding, you know, linens, things like that, or clothes, whatever, smell amazing. So, of course, on um, Amazon, they recommended these to me. These are the wax melts of the same brand. So I have these in a couple of scents, the high maintenance and the Diva scent. And these are just, again, wax melts that smell like that sort of laundry detergent. The high maintenance one, I feel like, is a much more clean scent. The Diva one is more flowery, powdery. I, I like it. I find it to be kind of feminine, slightly granny, but in the way that I like. Uh, whereas the high maintenance one is a little, it's not, it's just not as overpowering, but still very fragrant, just not quite as strong as the Diva scent. So if you feel like, oh, I don't want something crazy strong, try the high maintenance one. These would be great if you just want your home to smell clean. Like you don't want it to smell like cedarwood mandarin. Haha, <laughs> I think that's the name of the candle. I knew it. Do you, don't you just love it when your brain kicks something back to you later? I've told you guys a story about how my brain gave me my pin code when I couldn't remember my debit card pin when I was like 18 and it gave it to me in a dream. Uh, but yeah, like later my brain will just be like, here's the word you were looking for. There it is. Um, so yeah, I think it's cedarwood mandarin. Anyways, um, if you don't want something that smells super strong of any, you just want like a clean, fresh smell. Perhaps it's going to be something you put into a bathroom downstairs or a laundry room or something like that. These would be fantastic. Okay. I'm, I get so tempted to just go on and on about these things. I have to shut up at some point. That brings me to the laundry detergent. I still do buy occasionally that same laundry detergent but I found another brand on Amazon like six months ago, seven months ago at this point. I tried the Beach Days one, which I really like. I've tried a couple of the scents, and when I really like them, I like to share it with you guys. So the Beach Days one is still just one of my favorites, again, for a very fresh, clean scent. And I recently added the Hyacinth scent, and it's lovely, as I expected it would be and predicted it would be. 
the hyacinth scent. I feel like I have to really enunciate those words. If you've tried those laundry detergents that I've recommended and you haven't branched out into the hyacinth, you should try that one next. Um, I'll list down below the three that I've tried uh, that I really, really love. Y'all know that I have decided I am just like the unofficial connoisseur of artificial flowers. It's a self-appointed role, but one I feel I've earned. Uh, I've shared with you guys the tulips that I love so much, the artificial tulips that have kind of that velvety feel. Uh, and I shared about the eucalyptus. Uh, can you see the eucalyptus behind me? It's right there. I also shared with you guys about, about the hydrangeas that I found that I really like. They're all the way in a different area. You can't see them. And one of you guys commented, just so you know, I listen to you. I do. And what one of you said was, Angie, listen, I like the artificial hydrangeas. But what I don't like is the skinny stem that makes it like very obvious that it's not a real hydrangea. And when you put it in any kind of a clear vase, you can see the stem. So what did I do? I said, well, by golly, I'm on a mission then because I actually completely agree with you. And lo and behold, we have the artificial hydrangea that does not look so artificial. It has a thick stem. We all like a thick stem, don't we ladies? It has a thick stem, very floofy, comes in lots of colors. I chose this kind of bright green. I ordered another color. It was kind of back ordered, so it hasn't come in yet. Now I will say in terms of like, boy, it's going in another direction. In terms of like filling out your vase, it only comes three to a pack. So uh, depending on what kind of vase you're using, how large the opening is, now I can't stop, you guys. <laughs> the 14-year-old boy has emerged. Depending on how big the vase is, how large the opening is, how much of the flowers are gonna show, uh, you know, it only comes with three, okay? So I just wanna say that. It only comes with three. They're big, okay? They're big. So I have three in my little vase over here, and uh, I, I do think it needs a, like one or two more. So I just wanna note that, okay? It comes in a pack of three. These have a little bit of that like velvety type texture, not as like thick as the tulips are. The tulips are just, I mean, the tulips are legit. But hydrangeas themselves have kind of more delicate petals, right? Tulips typically have a more dense petal anyway. So this is actually more realistic when you think about it. But when you feel it, it will have kind of that uh, velvety, uh, feeling to it, not the papery, you know, fa like almost fabric feeling that a lot of artificial flowers have. Anyways, you guys, I just wanted you to know, you asked, I answered, the thick stem hydrangea is here to help you. We're gonna move a little into the kitchen. So if you recently saw, I did a kitchen declutter video, and then I also shared with you guys uh, 11 of my favorite kitchen items from Amazon that were under $25. So if you haven't seen those videos, go check them out. They went up within the last week or so. I wanted to add a couple things that didn't quite make that video for either price reasons or more new to me reasons, but I feel like I just need to share with y'all because I really do love them. So the first one is this uh, acrylic clear cutting board with a lip on it. So it essentially has the lip so that it holds onto your counter. It's got a little bit of the feet, the silicone type feet under it to kind of hold it in place so it doesn't slip and slide. And it's just really nice to have so that if you are cutting something, you can slide things just into the garbage, but also it just kind of blends in really well to your countertop. Uh, if you have a material of a countertop that needs a lot of protection, my daughter's dog is howling at the door. She's a Boykin Spaniel, but she thinks she's a hound dog and she howls when Kennedy leaves. It's it's cute, but annoying when I'm trying to film. So we have true granite countertops in here, which is, I'm not complaining, you guys, I know that they're like very expensive and all of that stuff, but they are a pain in the butt to clean. They are a pain in the butt to make look clean. It's only, you just like polish them and buff them. The point is, is that having this like larger protective cutting board allows me to kind of use the countertop, set things down and not have to think about it as much. Like, is this gonna hurt the countertop? Is this gonna stain the countertop? It's just nice, okay? I really like it. And it's great, again, over like a garbage can area where you can just whoop, swoosh things down into the, the trash. That brings me to the next item in the kitchen, which is the dish drying rack. This is like an expandable steel rack that goes into the sink. And again, it can go, depending on the size of your sink, you can expand it to fit. And it's just really nice because uh, sometimes I just wanna like rinse something, like if I've used something just for like something real quick and it doesn't need to like go through the actual washing process, it just needs a quick rinse and then I'll set it there to dry. 
before I put it away. A measuring cup, for example. If I am just met like one cup of milk or something, I'll measure it, rinse it out real quick with some water and set it in there and then put it away. Do I wash it with soap? No, I don't. If that bothers you, don't come eat at my house, okay? It's handy, okay? These are things that are just handy. Couple more things in the home department are these outdoor pillow covers. And I really like them, they're lovely. Uh, I'm, I'm mixing in a little bit of green with the blue on the porch. We did like red and light blue at Christmas this year, which I loved. And so now I'm adding in some more of like that kind of like emerald, uh, more of like a bright green with the light blue. I really like them though. And they are bringing spring, I feel. They are bringing spring to my porch. Real quick, I just want to like quick shout out to my Angry Mama microwave cleaner. Again, I shared about this in the Amazon video that I did recently. I love this thing. It's a little Angry Mama and she gets steam coming out of her head. It's really great. You just put water and vinegar in her head, put her hair back on, put her in the microwave for like five to seven minutes. And after a couple of minutes, she starts to steam and it loosens up any food in there. It's just a great way to very quickly queen, queen. It's, a, it's a great way to very quickly clean your microwave it's very affordable. It's great like idea, genius idea uh, for a product. And I love it. My angry mama gets used. I mean, again, a lot of kids we use a microwave a lot. She makes me less angry, which I can appreciate. Last thing, and I know I shared about this one recently, so I'm just gonna buzz over it really fast and I'm only adding it again because somebody commented on it when I was out in public the other day. I shared with you guys these reusable grocery bags is basically what these are. They come in a set of three. They have like long handles on them. They fold um, and I, I carry them in my car. So when I'm going someplace like Sam's Club where they don't give you bags or anything and the boxes, I don't know what's happening with the boxes at Sam's Club and Costco, but none of them, are actually capable of holding much of anything. They're all like two and a half sided with like a weird cutout. And it's like, what is this really doing for me? This isn't anything that's gonna contain anything. And then everything flies all over the place. So as I was going into Sam's Club the other day, I was carrying my bags and I set them down in the cart. These two older gentlemen stopped me. They were like, excuse me, ma'am. And I thought, oh boy, where's this going? And uh, they were like, what? Well, what are those? Where did you get those? And we had a lovely little chat about them. And the one guy was like, I told him, I said, I got them on Amazon. And he was like, Amazon? And the other guy was like, you know, Amazon. I was going to offer to airdrop him a link, but I thought that just might be like a bridge too far. I got multiple compliments on my reusable grocery bags. So I just thought I would give them another shout out because they're fabulous. Okay. Let's move on to like the beauty stuff. And then we'll do like accessories clothing last. I don't have a bunch. I only have a couple things. The first thing is this cream from Aveen, I think is how you say it. Sikafit, Sikafit, Sikafit cream. I, I will link it. That was painful. But I saw a, a reel or something about this. If you're the kind of person that gets, I, I get very, if my husband like rubs his beard and it touches like my neck or something, I will get like all red and inflamed. If I get a little spot here and I itch it, I'll get all red and inflamed. It happens on my legs. If I scratch something, it will like turn into this like angry, bumpy, ugh. And so I saw this girl on Reels that was basically showing the very same thing. She showed this like spot on her arm or leg where she had like scratched and it was all like inflamed and angry. And she put a little bit, excuse me, she put a little bit of this cream on it and it like basically calmed down and totally like the redness went away, the bumps went away and it just like calmed the skin. So it's a small tube that is, I mean, it's not like, an, I think I want to say it was like 15 or $20, but that's a lot for a tube this size. So that's all that I use it for. I'm sure that you could use it for other things. It is, like I said, a reparative, restorative, protective cream. I just use it for the like when my neck and face gets like, or chest or arms or legs get like an angry inflamed spot. Perhaps if you have eczema or a child with eczema, this could also be great for that. But I just use it for like the angry spots on my skin pop up every once in a blue. The next thing, and I cannot remember if I've shared this with you guys or not, I feel like I've really noticed a change and this is the only thing that I feel like I can tie it back to. So this is from a brand called Color Science Total Eye 3 in 1 Renewal Therapy. It's a broad spectrum SPF 35. This is a total renewal eye cream, however, so it comes with like the little uh, you know, tip that is stainless, so it feels like cooling when you apply it, and it has sort of a light peachy color for those of us with under eye circles and darkness. It kind of acts like an eye cream and also sort of like a pre-makeup, helping to like tame down some of that darkness under my eyes. But here's what I've noticed, is that my under eyes feel 
and look full, like fuller and smoother, not as sunken in, not as wrinkly, not that like crepey skin. It just, I feel like my under eyes are feeling, and now obviously y'all, I'm approaching 40 years old, okay? I don't have like fresh baby butt skin under eyes, okay? I don't, there's not the 20 year old under eyes. These are nearly 40 year old under eyes. So I don't expect perfection here by any means, but I notice an improvement particularly close up. I really like this stuff. I definitely feel like with consistent use, it's absolutely worth the money if you feel like you've got dry and kind of crepey under eyes, or like me, if like when I do my skincare in the morning, if I'm not gonna wear makeup the rest of the day, it's nice that I get like a teeny bit uh, brightening, a teeny bit of, you know, sort of fixing the darkness and discoloration under my eyes while not actually putting on like concealer or makeup. Um, it's like skincare, you know? So I wanted to give this a shout out because I do feel like I've noticed a difference under my eyes. Now, the next thing is the Olaplex, Olaplex. Bond Maintenance Shampoo and Conditioner. After I took out my own extensions, which you're not supposed to do, one of the things that I noticed right away was, first of all, whenever you take out hair extensions, your hair always feels thin and sad. By nature of going from you feeling the thickness of having extensions all the time to not, it can it sort of mess with your head and make you think your hair is thinner than it is and it can feel very like, ah, for a while. The other thing that has exacerbated that for me this time is that I kind of cut my hair to blend with my extensions better and so my hair is thinner and it's got weird cuts in it, right? It's not, it, it doesn't look fantastic, um, which is fine. But one of the things I really wanted to work on is, you know, the health of my hair, restoring my hair. I'm kind of going through this phase where I'm thinking about not dyeing my hair as much anymore, trying to find something that's less maintenance. At some point, maybe even just growing out my grays and some, like, I don't know yet. I'm not fully there yet. I'm deciding what I want to do. I do know that I want to work on making my own natural hair healthier. And so I've seen a number of people that I respect their opinions greatly talk about this product and use this product. Women who, for all intents and purposes, could use anything that they wanted. Budget isn't an issue for them and they could use any product that they wanted and they still, this is the one they recommend. So now granted, this isn't cheap, right? I wanna say they're $30 and this is how big they are. I'm gonna start mixing back in the Beauty Pie system of the drops that help to like thicken and regrow hair and then also the Olaplex system to like restore and then I'm kind of figuring out what I wanna do as far as like color and dyeing my hair and stuff. So let's move on to clothing uh, accessories type stuff. The first thing I wanna share with you guys are these bangle, bangly gold bracelets. I really like these, they are very affordable. I won't go into a long diatribe, but I just wanna say that I kept seeing all these really cute, like gold bangly bracelets that people were wearing. And this is like for the last few years. And finally I said like, okay, I just, I really want these. It's been like two years I've been looking at these. I really want them, but they were like a hundred dollars. Anyways, I ordered them. They came and they were the plastic with like the gold filling that you had when you were a kid. And I actually double checked with like three people because I'm like, did I get the wrong order? Is this not the thing? I'm trying to understand. I guess I must be missing something. Those are the exact same bracelets I had when I was eight with like different colored glitter in them and stuff. I can't figure out why they're a hundred dollars or why they're in pictures. They look fine. They look like gold bracelets, but in person they look like you're wearing your kid's jewelry. So I haven't figured that one out yet. Maybe I'm missing something, but either way, I found these on Amazon and I was like, yes, this I can get behind. Um, they don't have any clasps. You gotta like squeeze like sausage fingers into there, you know? I really like them. You get a number of them. They've got the jangle jangle and they stay on. They're not too big, not too small, just the, the Goldilocks of bracelets. If you like that gold bracelet -y look, but don't want the gold filled plastic ones, try these. There's something going on with animals outside. I'm hearing some weird snarling sounds, but clothing items. I recently did a spring uh, video, so I will link that down below if you wanna kinda go see everything. This little beauty right here did not make it into that video. It didn't arrive in time, and so I did wanna share this with you real quick. This is like a little two-piece cardigan set from Walmart. Um, oops, you can see my microphone. It's got a tank under it, which is like short, so I'm not gonna unbutton it because it only comes here, but it's a tank. Can you see that? There you go. Just a little, a little tank that goes under it. 
It's very 90s, okay? It's like a very thin um, knit rib. I like that the sides of it kind of have like this little slit so that they open. You know, it's a cardigan that's meant to be worn as a top, buttoned up or close to it or whatever. Listen, you can wear it however you want, but the point is, is that it looks good just like as a top. And I really like the color. It's what I would call a periwinkle blue. It's more of a purpley blue, but I really like it for spring. I like that it comes together. You get the tank and this piece together. So that's a great set for spring from Walmart. I'm also gonna give a shout out to that blue cardigan that I shared with you guys in the other video that's more of a, a sweater material. It's again, just such a quality piece. I, I love it so much. Um, and so do y'all because a lot of you guys bought it. So hopefully it's not sold out. I know it comes in a couple of colors. The light blue is just my favorite. And it's just such a, a great quality of sweater. It's the kind of material that I like. It has like a little bit of heaviness to it, a nice weight, okay? You know, you know it when you feel it, you know? And the last item is this little blue and white striped dress from Amazon. As we go into spring, um, I like to be able to have the option to wear a dress. Again, our weather here is a little bit like all over the place. It, it doesn't know who or what it is some days. Uh, we've gotten into the 80s already. We have got a lot of days in the 70s. My tulips and hyacinths, my dahlias are coming up out of my garden from last year that I never pulled the bulbs. I just left them in those raised beds. That should tell you the temperature that they didn't even have to be in the ground for those bulbs to survive in there. My dahlias are coming up. It's great. I love seeing things blooming, but it's also like, no, <laughs> because I know that a frost is going to come and kill certain things and then they just they don't come back after that so i like having dresses to wear that are comfortable casual dresses but this one is longer and that's what i like especially if you're chasing kids around short dresses are very hard for me i'm taller i have a longer torso and we don't need things popping out front back or otherwise everything needs to stay in so longer dresses are typically my speed in the dress department, you know? I've said this before and I'll continue to say it. What we want is a maximum impact for a minimal effort. Throwing on a dress is about as minimal effort as it gets. Um, and you look cute. You can even put like a baseball cap and tennis shoes on with it and it would look cute. Okay, I digress. We don't need to go on. I will link everything down below by section, by department, to make it easier for you. We've come to the end of another favorites video. These are always the videos where I get weird. Try not to, but I just, I can't help it. Sometimes it just happens. Oh, I got, we got horses fighting out there. Yikes, okay. That's it for me this month, y'all, for favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I will see you again very soon. Bye.